and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I am Anshika Mishra. Today we'll talk about Ebastin provides subjective relief among patients with non-constipated IBS. Ebastin may provide subjective relief among patients with non-constipated IBS, suggests a new study published in the Cut. They evaluated the histamine 1 receptor antagonist Ebastin as a potential treatment for patients with non-constipated irritable bowel syndrome in a randomized placebo-controlled phase 2 study. Non-constipated patients with IBS fulfilling the Rome 3 criteria were randomly assigned to 20 mg Ebastine on placebo for 12 weeks. Subjects scored global relief of symptoms and abdominal pain intensity. A subject was considered a weekly responder for global relief of symptoms if total or obvious relief was reported and a responder for abdominal pain intensity if the weekly average pain score was reduced by at least 30% was his baseline. Are you also aspiring to excel in medical journalism and delve into the intricacies of health and medical reporting? Explore our comprehensive course on medical and health journalism available at the Medical Dialogues Academy. Learn from industry experts who possess in-depth knowledge and experience in this field. For further details, scan the QR code provided or access the link in the description box below. Primary endpoints were the proportion of subjects who were weekly responders of at least 6 out of the 12 treatment weeks of, for both global relief of symptoms and abdominal pain intensity, that is the GRS plus API, composite endpoint, and for global relief of symptoms and abdominal pain intensity separately. The results, 202 participants, 32 plus minus 11 years, 68% female, were randomly allocated to receive Ebastine, N equals to 101, for, or placebo, N equals to 101. Treatment with Ebastine resulted in significantly more responders, that is 12% for global relief of symptoms plus abdominal pain intensity compared with placebo that is 4% with P equals to 0.047 while the proportion of responders for global relief of symptoms and abdominal pain intensity separately was higher for Ebastine compared with placebo although not statistically significant that is placebo versus Ebastine global relief of symptoms would be 7% versus 15% the study shows that Ebastine is superior to placebo and should be further evaluated as a novel treatment for patients with non-constipated IBS Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for more updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe, and press the bell icon.